Sounds good. Thanks. Hi, oh, wow. everybody. Hi, Hi Jen. Nefa. I was going to call Hi. you Jen then. Hi, Jen. Hi. <laughs> Everybody, this is Jennifer. She's in the USA and she's come to talk to us today. And we're going to talk about a success story. We're going to talk about manifesting. We're going to talk about, you know, techniques, whatever Jen, Jennifer throws in from what she did. We'll, we will go through that. So hello, Jennifer. Probably. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. You are in the US. I'm in England somewhere right. in London. <laughs> Sometimes I actually forget which where I am. I bet you do. Yeah, but that's you know that's a nice problem to have. It's a nice problem to have. So, Absolutely. yeah, where do you want to start today? What do you where do you want to start? Where you were? What what you did? Where you are? You know, like give us a bit of a timeline if you like. Well, I think I'd like to start with where I was when I first heard about you. Okay, because that's the biggest. Um, that's the biggest manifestation and the most important one, really. Um, so when I first um, came into contact with you, your videos, it was kind of by pure accident. Yeah. I was in a horrible, horrible place. I had been divorced for about two years mm. after a long, very difficult marriage with a lot of mental and emotional things, um, yeah. abuse. Um, but now I can see where it's definitely everyone is you pushed out. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, and I was here alone in, in a new state and it was really hard. And I kept, I didn't have a problem like finding a date or finding men that maybe at first were interested in me, but then it was like the same thing kept happening, the same pattern, the same pattern. And I knew enough that I knew it had to be something with me, but I didn't know what or how or I just didn't know. So um, I just started on this self quest of figuring it all out. Yep. And then you started talking about self love and, um, and then here I am today. I it just, it was, it was a long, hard process and mm. I'm not going to say it was always easy or fun, but I am yeah. so glad now. So yeah. glad. Yeah. If so, that makes any sense. yeah, look, oh yeah, it's, I mean, it is such a journey out mm -hmm. of, and it's really the journey out of negative emotion into yeah. emotions that feel better. Cause really we just want to feel good. And sometimes we just don't know how. Exactly. And so. you're so, for me, I was in a, such a state of like sheer panic and anxiety where I couldn't even get out of bed. Yeah. There were days where I just, I, I don't even, I was probably dehydrated as heck because I couldn't even get out of bed to get a glass of water. Yep. Yep. A panic. Yeah. yeah. I was. And I remember one weekend I felt like that and I was laying on the couch and I couldn't get off the couch all day and I emailed you and you were so gracious and you just emailed me back and you said, just keep doing self love. And it just, it was so simple and it just spoke to me. It probably um, saved me mm. <laughs> really. Just though, and so I just kept saying, I'm loved, I'm loved, I'm loved. And it had, yeah, I just, sometimes it wasn't even anything that I could say. Um, that I even knew I was saying it was just kind of like, I just kept saying it almost like a robot until I yeah. really started to get it. Yeah. And, and I think, when you're in the Jennifer, I think that's a really important point because people say, oh, do I have to feel it when I say it? No, right. you just no. do the best you can. Because when you're in a panic and you're bedridden because mm -hmm. you're depressed or you're broken hearted right. or whatever, you mm -hmm. can't put feeling into exactly. it. You, you can barely get a thought in your head that's positive. Exactly. So, yeah, I think that's exactly. good that you just started where you were and you just kept at it. Exactly. And I just kept listening. I listened to you and I listened to Abraham Hicks. Yeah. And sometimes I just didn't even really um, even understand what you all were saying. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, yeah. I couldn't even hear it sometimes because I was in such a state. But I knew that I knew that I knew if I just kept listening, eventually it would sink in. Yeah. And it did. <laughs> it did. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> so and it can did. you... Jennifer, can you give us a bit of a timeline from when you were in that state and after the breakup to when well, you started feeling better to now? Like, what's the time frame? Well, it, it did come gradually. Yeah. I started feeling better gradually. Um, the breakup was in February. And then... 2018? 
2018. Wow, that's February. not that long ago. No, uh uh-uh, no. Yeah. Um, and then I felt really bad in February. Yeah. And then March, I found you. And then I started to feel a little better and a little better. And then summer came and I started feeling a little better and a little better. Mm. And then just really in the last probably month of really just after a long summer of really hard examination of myself and really just constantly being aware of my own emotions and figuring out how like Abraham Hicks says to reach for that better feeling thought yeah. and, and really thinking about myself first. And, you know, I'm a nurse. And so a lot of times nurses, we yeah. just are kind of taught to almost martyr ourselves mm. and, Oh, you know, we move the patient. We don't care if we hurt our back or we don't do this or that because we, you know, well, no, I'm going to put myself first mm. because I can't help anyone yeah. much less love anyone in a relationship. Mm. I don't love myself first. I agree. And that's, yeah. That's what I just kept mm. just really hitting hard on. And it, it was hard. I didn't always want to do that. You know, I, I, of course I want somebody in my life and I, I believe I have somebody. I just, but I knew I had to work on myself first before yeah. I had to offer him. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And isn't that such a great sentence it is. for me to have something to offer him? Because when we're so exactly. obsessed with a specific person or a relationship, mm-hmm. it's always, what can I get from it? Exactly. So exactly. that is a really huge shift in you just went and looked at the total other side of the coin by making that comment. It's like, exactly. So great. And are you still doing that unbelievable job? Tell the viewers yes. what you do because it is so amazing. Well, I am a labor and delivery nurse and I do have um, a high risk specialty. And um, what that means is I just take care of some pretty sick moms. Mm. The state that I live in has a lot of um, rural areas, probably more rural than um, city or urban areas. And so a couple weeks after the breakup, I got this job that I thought I manifested in a positive way. And maybe in some ways it was positive, but I thought I manifested it to be closer to him. But in reality, it really wasn't. Yeah. (laughs) Um, It actually ended up and it wore me out. Mm. And I was still focusing it and putting my thought process in, in him and what, what I could do to be closer to him rather than what I needed to do for me. Yeah. And, um, I was traveling three hours, driving three hours to go to work and I would work three days. I would stay there in that town and then I would come back. Yeah. And it was exhausting to me that three hour drive. And I was really missing sleeping in my own bed. Yep. And having my stuff around me, I'm not necessarily Mm. completely, materialistic but everybody likes to have their own bed and their pictures and yeah and yeah. so I was missing that and I needed that because I am here in this state all alone with with the exception of a few family members um extended family so I heard of this job through my friend and um it was a similar job to what I do Now it's still a contract job where I don't actually work for the hospital system, but I was not qualified. They wouldn't normally consider me because I had actually just worked for that hospital system within the last year. So there was a a contract that you sign that you will not take any travel positions there at that hospital until a year is up. This is a huge organization. Yeah. And, um, I thought, no, you know what? I want one of those jobs there because then I can sleep at home, make really good money. Like what I was making when I was driving the three hours. Yep. And, um, I just set an intention that I was going to get that job. And sure enough, in about a week, they called me and they hired me. They, the guy didn't even interview me. He said, I looked at your resume and I want you in a week. (laughs) Yes. In a week. Mm -hmm. And I manifested that job. And there's been some issues, of course, uh, that have come up with the job. And I just had to set myself aside and say, listen, you manifested this job. This is a good thing. 
what are what are you doing um, in your thought processes to you know make this better yeah. are you focusing on the negative or are you focusing on the positive i mean there's oh. been you know like i said there's been a few things where they didn't honor their contract but it's it's all working itself out and yeah then, yeah so, so I, look, just, looking back jennifer what do you think you did in between the jobs to get this job in terms of your own internal work or well i did i did a lot of listening like i said just constant listening and maybe yeah. i know some people think you should just have a be a certain part of your day but for me i was in such a horrible state that i had to listen i listened to it constantly until yeah. i just saturated my my brain with it yeah and then it got to be where i didn't have to listen to it as much and yes. then it got to be where i could even sit in my house with it being completely silent and i was happy yeah yeah because a lot of people struggle with being alone they do yeah they do and i was one of them yeah and you think it was um, doing all that listening that evaporated that what feeling did you have when you'd be alone what was it anxiety or fear or loneliness or what was it loneliness and panic yeah complete panic panic and, panic about what do you think um always being alone never having anybody and just constantly being alone yeah and and i just had these obsessive thoughts yeah i would start thinking about all the women that i knew of that were alone yeah yeah i would think well if they're alone then how am i going to find anybody and well look at you know and i would look at all the patterns in the relationships and be like look at this blah 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 and i would start thinking about you know there must be something wrong with me and, and mm. it was just it was a horrible downward spiral of thought pattern yeah and now that's gone i'm not saying i don't have a few moments here and there but not like that i am yeah wow like that is a massive it's massive internal shift just by listening and like you're saying you just saturated mm -hmm. and i remember when i was in a really bad state like I would get, I'd get like anxiety uh -huh. or panic attacks or something. And yeah. I did the same as you. I just played Abraham Hicks. It was Abraham Hicks yep. then. And it was, yep. I would read Neville and I would listen to Abraham Hicks. And mm -hmm. it honestly, it made such a difference. I totally agree oh, with you. Yeah. It's almost like it helps you when you can't help yourself. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. I yeah. started, I, I did read um, Louise Hayes book, um, Heal Yourself. Mm-hmm. I used to love to read and I was in such a state in that February to, you know, the summer through the summer time, like about August, I couldn't yeah. read. Yeah. And I used to love to read. Yeah. And then finally I was, I got to the point where I could read and I read that book because I knew you had always talked about her and I did the different little things that she said, like the little exercises. I did yeah. those. I remember I was on a plane and I was flying to my, see my mom in Texas and I was doing those little exercises and I made sure I had time every morning to do those little exercises. Even when I was with my mom, yeah. I felt so much better. And no. then I was able to start reading some Neville because you know, he's he a little hard to understand. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, one of the things I noticed when I, and I don't know how I thought of this, but when I was really, really feeling bad for me, writing is a big deal. It gets in my brain. And I, and once I started feeling a little better, I was, I would start writing down how I felt. Yep. And then I talked to you about that because I didn't want it to stay with me because yep. obviously words have power. Yes. And you said, well, you know, maybe you should burn it oh, after yeah. you write down the negative things. And so I would write down the negative things. And sometimes I couldn't even figure out how I was feeling so i would just look up a general word that i was feeling in like a thesaurus and i would yeah. like i could actually oh that word really speaks to me mm. and i would write it down and i would burn it and i used um the ho'oponopono prayer yeah. as i was burning it and um, i would actually visualize myself yeah like apologizing to myself yes yes and um then i would turn around and get the antonyms of those words and make them into an affirmation and that would be like a week every week i kind of did that with a few different things and it would like the opposite word and it really did i think help and help me shift and be able to can you give again. can you give an example of that like <laughs> well um 
I always felt like if I didn't have somebody, I wouldn't be secure. I was like, yep. I felt the feeling of, of fear of being alone. And yep. so, you know, I, I wrote that down and, and then, you know, I burned it and apologized to myself for feeling like that. Yeah. You know, I am secure. I am loved. And wow. It, it just helped. Yeah. And that's what it, the whole Pono Pono is. It's forgiving the self mm -hmm. because you exactly. just couldn't do any better at the time than you did. You would, you know, exactly. that is exactly. so amazing. It's like you've evaporated some really oh, old yeah. stuff. Absolutely. Brilliant. The, the panic that I was having, I mean, that's typically panic that, I mean, as a, as a healthcare professional, I can tell you, you would typically go to the emergency room and get IV medications for. Yeah, that, that severe panic range that I was in. Yeah, wow. And to now not even deal with that in any any range of that. So at at a ten, it's zero or one or. I would say it's it's maybe a more like a one or a two now. Still, that's really so, low. That does hardly. That's hardly anything. Wow. And I and it's I all I, your mind. It's your all. You change it, all that with your mind. It, I'm able to meditate my way out of it when. I do feel it. Mm. Get quiet, start breathing, and just look within myself. Yeah. Why am I feeling this way? And then I just start in. You are loved. You are loved. Sometimes I use the whole Pono Pono prayer. Yeah. I think those two things, saying you are loved mm -hmm. and the whole Pono Pono, mm -hmm. are two of the most profound things you can do for yourself. I and I, I honestly, if I hadn't experienced it, I would never have said that. But no, it's I totally so agree. simple. It is. It is so yeah. simple. And yeah. it springboards your belief I'm at a place now where I feel like anything I want is really, really possible. Mm. And it's, it exists somewhere. I just don't, maybe, I can't maybe just reach out and actually feel it like my parents or my brothers and sisters can feel it and see it, but yeah. I can feel it and see it. Yeah. That's brilliant. And, it's Without like that, freedom. It's like you've set it yourself free. It is. It is complete freedom. Yeah. Complete freedom. <laughs> complete freedom. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I, I am. Couldn't have done it without you. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, I just, it's so, honestly, to see someone go from that to where you are, I just think that is one of the most amazing things in life that you will ever mm -hmm. do is going from feeling so rotten to feeling mm -hmm. good and that you Absolutely. did it yourself and then you feel mm -hmm. the security and the confidence because you know you did it which means if mm -hmm. anything ever pops up you know where to go you've got a toolbox you can go to it you can use it and you're never stuck having yeah. to go and pay you know um a psychic or a tarot yeah. reader or mm -hmm. you know whoever yeah. not saying that those people don't do some good work i think they do good work with the police finding missing right. persons Right. I don't recommend them for relationships or right. for, right. Mm -hmm. you know, certain things like that. So if you can do the work yourself, and the great thing is we can get all this stuff for free on YouTube now. I know. You don't I have know. to pay anyone. If you really follow certain good people like Abraham Hicks mm -hmm. or Neville or mm -hmm. some of the right. credible ones, right? and exactly. you, I think you pretty much find out who's credible within you a do. short period of time. Um, and if you have an earnest heart and say, look, I really need some proper help, not someone that's mm -hmm. going to, you know, just try and make money or whatever. And you, right. you, you look around and you're in Facebook groups, which are Neville groups or law of attraction groups or Abraham Hicks groups or whatever. You yeah. eventually just find out stuff. You do. So, yeah. That's if you so really look within yourself, oh. you really look within yourself and really want it. You can, you can do mm. it. Anybody can. Yeah. If I can, anybody can. Yeah. The state I was in was so horrible. Yeah. yeah. Did you read um, Kamal's book, Love Yourself, as well? No, I've read um, that Tik Nhat Han. I, I I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but um, he's a I think a Buddhist or Taoist. And he's a monk. Yeah. Um, and he he talks about how um, loving yourself, understanding. So if you have say a bad negative emotion coming to you, say, say loneliness. Yeah. Um, comes to you, it hits you, you know, you kind of face it head on. Yes. And say, okay. Hello. 
and then start working on it. You yep. know, just start reaching like, like it's really just the same thing as Abraham Hicks talks about. Start yeah. reaching for that better thought, you know, and then like when you come in and you're like very big on self-love, you know, loving yourself, take care yeah. of yourself. It's, it's amazing. We don't get taught this so much earlier. Like I just think no. I was like, you know, so much older than I should have been when I first came across this. Me too. Me we too. Just didn't, and we didn't have YouTube then. So it was no. like, no, you're just flying by the seat of your pants, you know, and that's why a lot of people have addictions. They do. Because they do. they're you're trying right. to get some relief. You're right. You're exactly right. Yeah. Relief from pain. Yeah. And it all is within yourself if you yeah. just really, and it's, it's not always easy. Sometimes it's really hard. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's a shifting a thought that's yes. already taken root and it's caused you a really negative feeling in your heart and right. in your stomach. Right. That right. is hard. Yeah. It is hard. It is hard. <laughs> yes. It is hard. Wow. Well, but then, you know, if you want to, if you want to feel better, you have to yep. take control of it yourself. You'd certainly do. You certainly mm -hmm. do. Absolutely. Wow. That's so great. Mm -hmm. And just the fact that it, it overflowed into you getting that job. And, and so oh, that's, that's reduced your travel time down from three hours to what? Well, I only, um, I drive about a half an hour to that's work. It. I drive into the big city Yeah, and that's it. And now, wow. not only was it more money per week, actually, and I forgot to tell this part, it was more, it's more money per week, but it's also, I'm not having to pay somebody to stay at their house yeah. while I'm working. So that was a little bit of a raise too. So it was yes. more money. So it's a double yeah. raise in a way. It's a double raise, yeah. exactly. And so you've made yeah. more money. You've attracted more money. You've attracted yes. more time. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you've you've saved yourself. How you know how many hours traveling? Three hours one exactly. way, three hours the other. You're just doing exactly. a half an hour back and forth. You probably don't even yeah. have time to do your affirmations anymore. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> the good thing about the place I was at, I had yeah. three hours to just really yeah. pound it into my brain. And so that's partly why in some ways it was good that yep. I went out there because I did have that three hour of drive time each way. Yeah. I listened to you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You were, you were my road buddy. <laughs> oh, that's good. But it is, it's like when you're in those jobs that you're traveling way too mm -hmm. far and it is, it's normally mm -hmm. exhausting. You can make lemonade out of lemons, as they say. And you go, okay, this is for now. It's not going to be right. forever, but for this exactly. time, I'm going to use this time wisely. <laughs> exactly. And that's exactly what I did. Yeah. That's the, other so thing, it, the other thing that I manifested was um, a roommate. Yeah. I just wanted somebody to just be around and maybe on occasion do some things. And... I didn't manifest just any roommate. I manifested a roommate that um, was from the state that I'm originally from. Yeah. Worked at the same hospital that I had worked at and no was way. friends with there. And um, she is also into law of attraction and Louise Hay and all of that. And no. we do all kinds of fun things. Like last yeah. night we went to a belly dancing class and, you know, just fun, fun stuff, just getting out there and, and, I am so grateful. Wow. What an amazing thing. It is. It is. It's, it's like getting me out and enjoying life and just yeah. enjoying life and, and finding out about me. Yep. Finding out about me. That's brilliant. That's Something so that kind of went <laughs> and, what's, and what's great, Jennifer, is you don't have to go, okay, because I know when I lived with people, I'd be like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go lay down and read for a while. Yes. And I'd, be, I'd yes. be scurrying to my room to yes. put my headphones on so they couldn't hear it was yeah. Esther. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's good. You don't have to do I, that. I don't. I don't. She'll listen to it too and I can talk to her about it. And yeah. she's like, oh, yeah. And we encourage each other. And oh, just, that's and beautiful. beautiful. So you're both nurses. We're both nurses, both high risk labor and delivery nurses. Yes. Wow. <laughs> both what did you say? Both what nurses? We're both we're both high risk labor and delivery nurses. So yeah. we have a lot in common. Which means you can debrief with each other. We can and we oh, do. Oh, <laughs> that is a perfect fit. Yeah, it is. It is. It's brilliant. She's just the most perfect roommate. Mm. I can cook for her and and I just I don't know. Yeah. It's just lovely. 
So Great. new job, less travel, mm -hmm. more money, yes. fabulous match for a flatmate. Yeah. Exactly. And gee, you're just on a roll. Yep. I am on a roll. Lots more coming. <laughs> yes. <Lots> more. <laughs> That's a good affirmation. <laughs> Lots more coming. There is. There's <laughs> more coming. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's so great. That's so it great. It is. I, I'm, yeah, because I remember how tired you were when you and mm -hmm. I had that, yes. that, you know, chat. Yeah. And I remember thinking, you know, you, you just so needed a break. Yes. And you, you made the break for yourself. You created that break for yourself. I did. Did I you have a break in between jobs? Um, maybe about a week-ish. Okay. A little under a week. I, had, I, I worked 12 hour shifts. Yeah, so, I remember. You know, then you work like three days a week. So it can kind of work out that you have a little bit of time off in between. Yeah. So it's not too bad. You mean with the new job or the old, the old job was 12, job. 12 hour shifts? Both. Yeah, all the jobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how many cool. days do you do 12 hours for? Three. And that's it. Three then you've got four days off. And then you have four days off. It's oh. not necessarily always in a row, but okay. you typically yeah. have four days off in the week. Yeah. That's good. Cause that makes yeah, it worth it. Doesn't it? It does. It does. It's nice to have the days off and, um, you know, I get my coffee and I turn you on and listen. <laughs> <laughs> that's my morning. And I really don't like it when people disturb me. <laughs> disturb my morning exactly oh that's great i know look i'm the same i you know mm -hmm. someone knocked on my door at eight o'clock this morning I, I went to bed at one i probably didn't sleep wow. till one thirty two. i was like i don't care who you are or what you want it's not happening i'm not getting up exactly. nope. you, can, you can come back at a re reasonable time this is unreasonable time for me exactly <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, it's like they don't bother you the rest of the day, but no, it's that time where you just made a decision. I want to be by myself to do my meditation, my affirmations, have my cup yes. up. Yes. My time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's important. You have to take care of yourself first. You do. You yeah. You yeah. It's absolutely important. Yeah. I know. I would have scurried in the past. I would have scurried to the door like a half drowned mm -hmm. rat. Yeah. You know, yes. freaked out because I'd just woken up. Mm -hmm. I would have answered the door and probably looked like ridiculously guilty about something uh -huh. like I'd done something exactly. wrong. And I thought, exactly. And then been it. angry. I don't know if you're like me, but I would have been angry with myself. Yeah. For answering it. <laughs> for answering it. But then feeling guilty. And it's like all these emotions yeah. are just, woo, 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 and it, instead know. of just, no, no, no. And, and taking care of myself. Yeah, exactly. It's so good when you make those decisions more and more and more and more in the moment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that's good. So have you still got a daily routine now? Like what, what do you, have you, you've cut it back a bit? I, um, it depends on the day. Yeah. And you really helped me with that because I would feel guilty. Like, Oh, I didn't have time to do all this stuff today because I have to work. Mm. Well, on the days that I have to work, I have to take care of myself because I have yep. to take care of my kids. Yeah. And so I, I listen to um, either you or Abraham Hicks when I'm getting ready yep. for work. And okay. it uplifts me and I feel great. And um, maybe if I'm driving in, I'll just, you know, say a few affirmations yep. and listen to some music. Yes. And then I go to work. Yeah, nice. And then I take, um, on my lunch, if I need to, I will go meditate. I'll find a quiet room, yeah. um, and just sit in for 15 minutes or whatever and breathe, maybe nice. listen to some calming music. Yeah. And then on my days off, I, um, do more. I, yes. Oh, Jennifer, you've muted yourself. Hang on. Ah, that's better. Say that bit again. Yeah, okay. you're good now. You just muted yourself for a second. Okay. Yeah. So you, okay. So, you said you, you go and sit for 15 minutes, but, and on your days mm -hmm. off, you do a bit more. Yeah. I do. I do. In the mornings I get up, I have my little coffee. I start listening to you or, or to Abraham Hicks and mm -hmm. I just start in a, and I'll take a walk, do some yeah. kind of exercise. And a lot of times I'll listen to one of your meditations, those new ones with that are set to the music. Yes. Oh, I love those. Those yeah. are just very relaxing. And when you're getting in touch with nature and, mm. and you're just looking around and you're grateful for the beauty of nature. Yes. And 
I feel so much better. Yeah. When I'm able to. <laughs> that it is a great be, thing. It must be even like, because you're, I mean, you're in high crises situations. Yes. Yes. To go and take a break and meditate in the middle of the day would mm -hmm. just settle your nerves from yeah. all that drama. It does. it does. There is, there's a lot of drama. Yeah. And, and yeah, it can be really an intense situation. Yeah. And, but you bringing that come back into the situation exactly. after your lunch break must really mm -hmm. help. It, it would help it them. It does. It does. It helps them. I've had yeah. physicians even say things to that effect. Like, wow, when you walked in, everything just kind of went peaceful. Wow. And so you're bringing that cool. calm energy. Yep. Mm -hmm. One calm person yeah. can calm a very mm -hmm. distressed, dramatic, exactly. over the top room. Exactly. Yeah. The presence of you, the presence of you. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. That's so good. So it's affecting it not just your personal life, but mm -hmm. it's affecting your workplace. It does. It does. Mm. Well, just like in that whole Pono Pono, um, the video with that, is it Hugh Lynn, Dr. Hugh Lynn? Dr. You know, when he had all those, he was at that awful, awful mental place. And I know. I know. He cleared it out mm -hmm. by just focusing on dissolving the part of him that was hostile, aggressive. Exactly. I know. It, it's just mind blowing the whole mm -hmm. Pono Pono, how you are, if you collapse and dissolve within yourself something, yeah the external world shifts it does it completely amazing shifts. amazing it completely shifts yeah and it's yeah. just something so easy yeah i mean you can do it anywhere and you don't have to try and remember no. it's four little it's four little affirmations four little statements four little they're mm -hmm. just packed with power every yeah. sentence is packed with an amazing force yeah it's, I, there's I, lots I, of love times, it. I do too. There's lots of times when I've something will come to my mind that maybe a year ago would have kind of tormented me for a while. Yeah. And I'll just start just saying that over and over and over until I feel better. Yeah. And this, and then I can't even remember what it was I felt bad about. I know. Like, I'm like, well, what was that? I know. And I can't remember. It's almost like it wipes out your memory of the bad yes. thing that you were trying to think about or that was. Exactly. Yeah. I know. It's, it's, I think it's one of the most important things on my channel. I, 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 I really do. And it's not agree. yet recognized for no. what it is yet because I can see from the views, people are watching other things more, but right. It is, it is a hidden jewel, that Ho'oponopono, to really dissolve and change what you're doing, which then impacts relationships, jobs, money, mm -hmm. whatever. Everything. 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 Yeah. I held my wallet um, before I got that new job. I actually held my wallet and said the Ho'oponopono yeah. prayer. Um, I did that one meditation that you have set to music for like 40 minutes. Yeah. With that. And then, you know... Wow. When I got this job, more money. Mm. Um, did you, I, I, Jennifer, can I ask you, did you consciously, when you're holding the wallet, mm -hmm. did, you, did you say I'm setting an intention to dissolve any negative stuff I've got around yeah. money? Or you did. So yeah. you set an intention yeah. when you do it. Yeah. Okay. And, apolog and apologizing to myself for negative beliefs around money. Yes. For thinking, well, I'm only a nurse, so my income is limited to this. Yeah. Maybe making mistakes with money that I've made. Because yes. I'm human, I'm mistakes with money um and and thinking i'm not good with money because that's what i was always told as a kid you're not good with money you're not like da, 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 you know yeah and so i just sat there and and held my wallet and kept saying it over and over i like the physical thing of doing it with something i've never thought to do yeah. it that way so that's yeah it, that's great it gave me something tangible i think you know yes. as a nurse i'm very scientific i want to Yep. Give the blood pressure medication and see the blood pressure go down. So yes. Kind of make that transition. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And hey, if you need a prop and the prop is relevant, makes sense to Do me. It. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, the other thing that I manifested this uh, summer was um, my daughter. I have four kids and I yeah. was a mom and I was put all them first no matter what. Always. Yeah. yeah. 20 years. And then when I made the decision to leave my uh, marriage of 20 years, um, it was not easy. And my youngest daughter, who was kind of shielded from a lot of the stuff that went on, yep. she would 
hardly talk to me. And it broke my heart. It just ripped me up. And I wanted her to move with me and she wouldn't. Yeah. She's, you know, always with her friends. She's a teenager, so, so she's always with her friends. I got it. I, yeah. I understand. But um, one day I just remember holding, I took, um, I took her picture and I just held it. And yeah. then I subsequently did it with each one of my kids. Yeah. The whole day. And I did, again, the whole Pono Pono prayer and just held her little little face and yeah. you know she she calls me now she texts me she tells me things about her life um she came and spent six weeks with me this summer is that since you moved since you left in february yeah. and then well, you started the whole pono pono and that's transformed that relationship too yes yeah just since wow. february that trans that relationship trans did um, she call you out of the blue or how did you connect up well, she just started started responding to my texts and started calling me because yeah. I never ended my, I kept, you know, I would call her and text her and, and yeah. try to get her touch with her every single day. Yeah. And she would just not respond yeah. to me. Yeah. And then, and that went on for like a year. Wow. And, yeah. Wow. Then, so it must have been amazing when you saw her. It was. It was, it was wonderful. It was wow. absolutely Wow. And the other she three kids? Amazing. The other three kids, um, they came up and visited me this summer. They were never angry like she was. Because yeah. I think they saw and they understood. They're yes. older. Yeah. So they understood why. How old's um, the youngest one? She is 16. Oh, okay. So she would have been about 15. Yeah, she was yeah. 14. Well, mm. 13, actually, when I left. Yeah. So, yeah. So she didn't Hard really understand age. It was. It was a hard age. Mm. It's like you're saying, a hard age to understand the adult yeah. version of what's going on. Yeah. You're still trapped in the exactly. childhood view of what's happening. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. I know. It's amazing. It is. It's just mind blowing. Amazing. It is. Oh, it's just it. This stuff changes everything. You work on your self love. You work on ho'oponopono. You work on knowing everyone's you pushed out. You just remember to live in the end. You do all those things. It is. Tr it transforms lives. It just does. It does. And it an example does. of that. It absolutely yeah. does. Yeah. I just, I just can't say how much better I feel. <laughs> and I just, I'm excited about yeah. my future. Back yeah. last February, it was dark. Yeah. I, I couldn't see the next day. I couldn't see the next hour. Yeah. And, yeah. And it was like just heavy, awful stuff on me. I just couldn't, yeah. no wonder nobody, no yeah. wonder, you know, no wonder I was broken up with like, who would want to be around that? Yeah, well, it's the energy that repels. I mean, we, we know that now, but you, at the time, you don't understand when I need people the most, no one's around. It's like, exactly. well, that's what your energy is. No one's there for me. I'm not loved. I'm not wanted. Exactly. So they exactly. go away. <laughs> so they go away. You manifest. I manifested that. I really yeah. did. Yeah. I'm the Isn't it man. great when you understand that and you yes. can look back and not blame them anymore or not exactly. resent them for not giving or exactly. you just go, oh, I get it. It was me. Mm -hmm. And and maybe in a sick, twisted kind of way, I'm actually kind of grateful it happened because it yeah. really made me examine myself. Yep. And now I feel better and I feel like I have my power back. Yes. I can take control now. I can create yeah. what I want in my future. Yeah. I agree with you, Jennifer. I think you do get to the point where you're grateful for what you've yes. learned because no one can take that mm -hmm. away from you anymore. No, The knowledge no. is there. You may choose exactly. not to go back to it and you might fall in a pothole, mm -hmm. but you know right. where to go. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And if I hadn't gone through all of that, then I wouldn't have known. Yeah. And you just keep... I know. I know. I'm grateful right. too. I hear you loud and clear. Mm -hmm. I just think now I would... I mean, this has become my life's work. This has become my, my personal journey has become my life's work. And it's just, I, who would have ever thought? I was just on YouTube doing a little hobby, you know? Yeah. I had no intention of taking off and doing this. This wasn't a lifetime's goal. It just kind of, the pebbles fell out of the bag and I was following the pebbles. That's it. But it's amazingly, it's like an unquenchable thirst, the knowledge of law of attraction, law of projection, law of assumption, yes. Neville, Esther. It's just, mm -hmm. just every day you learn something, yes. or you hear it differently and you go, wow. Yes. 
it, it, it kind of blows your mind and I just get all excited. I know it is exciting. I mean, sometimes you can't sleep. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. You just, just wind yourself up too much with too much good information and you can't go yeah. to bed. <laughs> exactly. Well, like she talks kid. about that. You don't need sleep. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, like sleep, so. yeah, I, love, I love it too. I would pick sleep over food any day. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I know a lot of people say to me, oh, no, I could go without sleep, but I couldn't go without food. It's like, uh, no. we've all got yeah. our thing that we can't yes. go without. Yes. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Funny. When you talk um, about how you, it takes you a little bit to hatch in the morning, I, yes. I, I'm, I identify with that. I'm like, oh, yeah, I have to be on the couch with my bathrobe. Oh. My coffee right now. <laughs> I know, that morning yeah. thing. Like, I know, yeah. you know, my mom, my mom especially, because when I go back to Sydney, I stay in Airbnbs with her. She, she wakes up. And within five minutes, she's up making a cup of tea. It's like I lay there and I feel like I've been hit by the Acme truck, you know, from the road runner. I feel like I've been hit by yeah. that truck for an hour. I can't just get up. No, I don't want to have to get up. I don't like it. That, then I'm like, oh, man. I, don't know. I feel unstable. Like I can't even feel unstable. Yeah. I feel like I'm one of those baby giraffes, you know. You get up and it's like... <laughs> you just got no sense of balance in your head. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. We've all got our end of the day that we're really good and the yeah. other end of the day that we're not so good. So. That's right. Yeah. That's very true. Oh, well, beautiful. What lovely information. And just thank you for sharing everything. And it's just a thank you. pleasure to... It was such a pleasure to read your email. I was like, wow, woo! <laughs> Did you like my, listen to it until you puke. Yeah, listen to it, listen and listen and listen. Abraham Hicks, just listen some more until you puke. That made me laugh. Because <laughs> that's what it's like, isn't it? It is. It is. It just, I knew I had to just keep on, keep on and keep on. Yeah, yeah. That little it's stubborn. Like you shoot. shut the back door to... Yeah. I cannot go back and do it the way I used to do it because that's exactly that, that has got me to this point of feeling exactly. absolutely rotten. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So and I want to feel better. I'm tired yeah. of this. And so yeah. I knew what was making me feel better. I just, just took my brain a little bit to process yeah. it all. That's exactly. That's all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then it's just maintenance, you know, and then it's maintenance. Just I just say maintenance aware. every day, you know, just you add another good habit. You you know, do. It's you just, do. Um, and you feel like I just feel there's no drama, there's peace, yes. there's silence, yes. there's quiet, there's meditation mm -hmm. time, there's burning candles time, there's relaxing yes. time, there's Netflix time, there's let's cook something, let's go shopping, yes. there's no rush. And it's like this thing that so many of us operate from there's not enough time, money or love mm -hmm. and exactly. there's not enough time is a really big one. You just got to go into the, anywhere shopping. You'll see someone rushing around like a lunatic. Exactly. And you think, okay, I want to walk around that. I feel there's enough time. There's enough mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. There's enough love. Mm -hmm. All three of those things. Yes. And when you come from that place, you do have a presence about you. You walk around and people feel that there's an absence of rushing or trying to get, or, you know, it is, it's like you're changing your whole yes. persona. So Everything. different. Yeah. You change yeah. the whole, you can really almost change the whole atmosphere around you. Yep. Yeah. I try and do it on the bus. Like I'm on the yeah. bus and I've got my little affirmations clicker. I have to stick it under my armpit though because it makes so much noise. So I'm sitting on the bus <laughs> like this. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, please don't anyone sit next to me because I want to do my affirmations. You know, and then I'm waiting for the traffic to go past so I can click a few in while there's, you know, cars going past. Right? I think, okay, I'm, I do my affirmations and I go, okay. Right, there's a few people talking on their phones. It's really starting to annoy me. So I have to radiate love out. Yes. And say to yourself, you can't control other people. They're not here yeah. to make you happy. 
Exactly. <laughs> so yeah. send exactly. love out on the bus, mm-hmm. radiate love out, leave it in a better Im- vibrational yeah. state and then you get off the bus. Exactly. But it's that thing of always resist looking for something to be offended by because that's something that right. I've had to really look at and myself and laugh because I'm always offended by somebody doing something <laughs> when, I'm pub- when I'm in public, you know, why are they doing that? Can't they be- They're too close to me in the queue. You know, there's always something. <laughs> I- I'm just, you know, I've got more sensitive over the years that I think, God, you got to calm down and just take the roll with it. Just roll it. Relax. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, you just gotta laugh at yourself at how you the more you do this work, the more you're looking at everything that's going on. Exactly. The more you see how much love you gotta send out. Mm-hmm. You know, remembering everything's you pushed out. So you're going, okay, why am I surrounded by this? There's something in me mm-hmm. that I gotta, you know. Figure it out. <laughs> so. It's fascinating. So even when the bad stuff happens. There was a situation with work where they weren't honoring the hours that I'm supposed to have. And yeah. I'm trying to figure out what did I do to create this? And then yeah. things started coming to me and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. It, so it's just a learning experience. It's yeah. Cool, actually. But you get to the point too, Jennifer, where something not so good happens. You go, ah, excellent. Yeah. I can now, yeah. I'm going to really turn this one around. Exactly. And you get a bit sort of like you play this little game with yourself. Yes. Oh, don't like that. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this happen. Yeah. It, it, it really, it's empowering. It is. It's empowering. Yeah, <laughs> it, it truly is. And, and Florence Scovel Shin wrote a book called uh-huh. The Game of Life. And this is yeah. the game of life. It's really mm-hmm. changing it, changing it, changing it. So I might have to read that book. Yeah, now that it's I really good. It. Really good. <laughs> Well, I think um, my storage is sending me a signal saying my storage okay. is full, so okay. I better um, call it a wrap. And um, okay. I'll stop recording, Jen, and then you and I can say goodbye on okay. our own. It sounds good. And bye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this bye. little nugget from Jennifer today. It's a Jennifer nugget, not a Neville one today. What <laughs> 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 <I'm> a compliment. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> bye everybody. Bye.